Hey y'all, this is Southern Woods here. Welcome to another Ages of Conflict War simulation. As y'all probably know, historically, nations, cities, counties, states, a lot of times are formed geographically based on natural forming boundaries like mountains or more commonly rivers. Rivers help form the boundary lines for many places in the U.S. and worldwide, all right, separating cities, counties, states, etc. So I took the biggest, most prominent rivers in America, erased all the states, kind of reformed everything into their own nations based on uh, the boundary lines of these rivers, all right, following the rivers. That's why a lot of these nations, as you see, are very long and flowing, kind of like a river, all right. So now there's 26 nations, some of them more original than others for example florida georgia all right not too original uh separated or formed based on the coastline as well as the savannah and chattahoochee river all right we have a few like that alabama is just a little bit smaller indiana's smaller and uh kind of cut off maryware all right maryland delaware houston is like the only city that's its own nation texas is a little smaller um washington but we have a lot of interesting ones I feel like now formed. We have the New England Kingdom, all right? The Smoky Appalachian Confederacy, a.k.a. the SAC, okay? Uh, the Carolinian Federation, uh, Lakeland, which is just this Greater Lakes area, uh, State of Lone Star, you know, classical uh, Texas. We have Mexizona down here, Mexico, Arizona. South Rocky is just, you know, cut off because it's surrounded by a river and the Rocky Mountains within the Southwestern Confederacy. We have Flyover Federation, of course, like Kansas, Nebraska. Those flyover states have now uh, formed their own nation. Greater Montana is this purple. Um, then we have uh, Tatakota, which is like uh, the Dakotas with uh, some tribal language blended in for the name. We have Los Angeles, Vegas, Los Angeles, and Las Vegas has this great area aspens in the rockies of course uh caligon california oregon washington and then the more uh regional name of cascadia coastal jefferson is going to be that northern coastal northern third of former california and then you have baja here louisiana is this little island anyways a lot to kind of take in but let me know which area would you fall under which would you live in if the map was reconfigured this way Technically, I'd be part of the Carolinian Confederation because I live just north of the Chattahoochee River, which cuts through uh, Atlanta in real life. So I wouldn't be part of Florida, Georgia. I'd be a Carolinian, I suppose, in this map. But again, yeah, let me know where y'all would live, what y'all think about it. Hit me with that like button. Let's run it up and see uh, which of these new nations, if a civil war happened based on this, would win. So the first battle we have is between Aspen and Greater Montana, it looks like. Uh, we have Maryware trying to be surrounded by Smoky Appalachian Confederation, the SAC. Uh, we have some coastal wars going on between Alabama, Louisiana, a lot of fighting in the northwest between uh, Cascadia, which is the first to fall from Tatakota. We have Alabama being conquered by Louisiana, which must have made this coastal landing and pushed northward. That is very impressive for little Louisiana, um, which of course has been cut off greatly. Um, it's now in just a little island, but now it's a little larger. Anyways, we have Long Island, which I forgot to mention because of course it's just Long Island, but they were able to make their own naval landing and they're pushing into New England. Meanwhile, Coastal Jefferson taken out by Caligon. Uh, of course, Jefferson, uh, this you know proposed state of Jefferson, pretty big on this channel and these simulations it seems like, um, but they've taken out early this time around. Coastal our Carolinian Confederation close to being taken out. Indiana is taken out by Lakeland. Uh, we have Lone Star State taken out by the Southwestern Confederacy. So old Texas is no more. Only new Texas can win. Uh, we have Lakeland now spreading in. Uh, about to take out Smoky Appalachian Confederacy. Long Island was able to take out the New England Kingdom. A lot to keep up with. I'm going rapid speed talking. I know it's amazing. Uh, we have Mexi, Arizona. Uh, moving west, northwestern, uh, Washington, trying to fight off Tatakota. A lot is going on. Washington fell. Meanwhile, we have the Flyover Confederation, very close to being taken out. 
like the sack was just now. Greater Montana trying not to be swallowed up by Tadakota. A lot just happened. The Carolinian Confederation uh, actually got beat by the Flyover Federation, who did a little maneuver down the Mississippi. So uh, I guess I am no longer um, with the Carolinian Federation. And then Florida, Georgia was also conquered by Louisiana, who is making some waves while also pushing against the Southwestern Confederacy. I don't know for how long, though. They're lucky they're on an island and have superior naval forces. Oh, not for long. They just got taken out. Meanwhile, Merriware was taken out by Long Island as well. So very interesting seeing how this is going. We have 14 nations left. Let's just uh, check out the statistics here. Uh, based on land, Southwestern Confederacy, uh, the SWC is the largest, followed by Lakeland and Tatakota. If we're talking about economy, Lakeland's the best, followed by Caligon, which I guess makes sense, and Tatakota and Greater Montana. So we have 14 nations left. Let's see what ends up happening. Los Angeles, Vegas, no longer. They're taken out by Mexizona. Meanwhile, we have Baja, who, of course, landed on the mainland forever ago, pushing up north. Houston, taken by uh, Texas, and Caligon, taken out by Baja. So Caligon, no more. 11 nations left. What will happen next? Who's your vote on as we enter the top 10? All right, maybe you're a Lakeland fan. Maybe South Rocky, all right, coming out of nowhere, expanding. All right, the Southwestern Confederacy just conquered by Texas. Interesting. They're trying to get a little bit of South Florida, and they will. Actually beating out most of Lakeland. All right, very good by them. Forgot South Rocky was even a thing because they just stayed small, and now they're no longer a thing. I jinxed them. Holy shit. Uh, now Lakeland being swallowed up by tons of people. Flyover Federation finally taken out. Um, they are no longer. Texas pushing into the Rockies. Going to take out Aspen. Meanwhile, uh, we only have six left now. Long Island, Greater Montana expanding quickly. Same with Baja. Lakeland no longer. They're conquered by Long Island. I think this is going to be a lot of people's nightmare if Long Island wins. Meanwhile, Baja taken out by Mexizona. So we have four left. Texas, Long Island, Greater Montana, and Mexizona. Those are your final four. Greater Montana just couldn't handle the heat. They're done. Meanwhile, Texas, uh-oh, they're collapsing. Maybe Long Island will swoop in and save them. Texas tried to take a little bit of Long Island while they were distracted that didn't work out that was texas's undoing so will it really be long island taking over america in this new configuration of the map all right they started cut off from the mainland like louisiana but they're able to take advantage and end up beating everyone else including mexizona so i guess congratulations everyone who lives on long island you were well represented in this simulation so um i'm sure people are going to be hitting me with the dislike button just because long island out of all places won but if you are from long island definitely support and uh, outweigh those dislikes all right let's run this up one more time we have time for about one more to see what happens here put on a little quicker speed see if i can keep up all right so now uh the sack has a chance at redemption long island and it is your turn to uh defend the crown the championship Let's start up and see what happens. Who will the first battle be between Houston and Texas? And then Alabama and Louisiana. Uh, Houston going to fall first as well as South Rocky who um, got eaten up quick. Louisiana now conquered by Alabama in this simulation. So Louisiana doesn't have the miracle run that they did last time. Coastal Jefferson once again taken out early. Uh, the Southwestern Confederacy looks like they're collapsing pretty quickly to the Lone Star State, but now Texas is pushing up into the Lone Star State, um, or the Lone Star, uh, State of Lone Star, you know, whatever. Indiana doing their own thing. Alabama is collapsing. They're being suffocated, taken out by the Carolinian Federation. We have Washington uh, duking it out with Cascadia, and Cascadia is going to get the upper hand in this simulation. New England Kingdom once again, going to fall, this time to the Smoky Appalachian Confederacy. State of Lone Star taken out by Texas. 
All right, already we have 18 nations. Now we have the Carolinian Confederation moving up the Appalachians. Long Island now making their mainland push, trying to show that uh, the first simulation wasn't a fluke. We'll see how they do. A lot going on out west, northwest. A lot of big contentious battles. Uh-oh, Long Island making their push. Making their push. Can they get past the Appalachian Mountains? That is the big question, of course. Um, lots of stuff is happening now. Flyover Federation and Aspen taken out by the Southwestern Confederacy. Pretty strong one in this simulation, it seems like. They've done a good bit in both turns. Indiana uh, suffocated by the, the CF, Carolinian Federation. Meanwhile, Florida, Georgia now conquered. They're no longer... We have Smoky Appalachian Confederation, the SAC, once again getting taken out by Long Island, and then Texas taken out by the Carolinian Federation. We have 11 nations. Pat Dakota struggling. Mexizona conquered this time around. They didn't make it quite as deep as last simulation. Now we have Greater Montana pushing against Lakeland. Meanwhile, Pat Dakota conquered by Los Angeles, Vegas. Baja. Whoa, look at what Baja did. They landed, they're pushing north, and I don't know how, but somehow they, I don't know, maybe they got cut off, but they're, they're wrecking house southwest now. We have Caligon taken out by uh, LAV, Los Angeles, Vegas. Baja now uh, ooh, in a very tough predicament. Yeah, they're being suffocated. They're now out. We have six nations left. Long Island, Carolinian Federation, and Lakeland. Carolinian Federation gone, Lakeland gone, Greater Montana gone, Southwestern Confederacy gone, so now it's Los Angeles Vegas versus Long Island. Oh man, I imagine, um, I imagine a lot of people nationwide wouldn't be too happy with this matchup. You're either a member of the Long Island or you, you're taken over by uh, LA Vegas. And it looks like Long Island once again is going to win. Holy shit. Wow. I, hey, respect. Respect. All right. People from Long Island. Hell fighters, I guess. All right. With all these huge ass nations based on these rivers. All right. All these big ass nations. Stretching for miles and miles and miles. And Little Long Island's going to be the winner twice in a row. You know I have to go full speed and just see what happens. Alright. I got to see if they can three-peat. Because that would be very impressive. Alright. I'm not going to try to keep up with every single thing that happens. Except for the first couple deaths. Louisiana and Merriware. Maybe Louisiana was a total fluke that first round. All right, Cali gone. Oh, no, Long Island taken out this time by uh, the Smoky Appalachian Confederacy. All right, so they're taken out kind of early this time, actually. But, hey, to, to re repeat twice being such a small nation, kudos to Long Island. All right, well represented. All right, well, let's see if uh, LA Vegas can now uh, rule the country. All right, maybe they have something to prove since they got out second last simulation. A lot of people are falling. We already have 12 left. All right. Biggest being Tatakota, maybe, or the Flyover Federation. Ooh, ooh. Carolinian Federation. All right. Once again, looks like they may stumble midway through the race. Wow. Look how big of a gory battle and front line this is between Florida, Georgia, and the Carolinian Federation. Alabama being sucked out of uh, uh, the South. That sounded terrible. Uh, Carolinian Federation no longer. And it looks like the SAC is going to push into Florida, Georgia and get all that as well. Making sure Alabama can't get any of Georgia. New England Kingdom somehow still alive. Uh, very disadvantaged area to start in. And it looks like they're close to being taken out. Alabama no longer. Texas took them out. Uh-oh. Pat Dakota made a big push. New England Kingdom no longer. So we have the SAC, no longer Texas, no longer Tat Dakota. It seems like whenever I try to announce like the final six, to immediately fall. Baja is going to be the next to fall. So we have uh, the LAV, 
Flyover Federation who looks like they're about to collapse. They do. So it's the LAV once again versus the Smoky Appalachian Confederacy. The SAC. The LAV versus the SAC. Who will win in this final showdown in this third and final simulation? The LAV Los Angeles Vegas pushing quickly up the Appalachian and all of a sudden, wow. I tell you what, man. These big city areas, Long Island, LA, they put a number in this situ in this simulation. All right, all these more rural and southern nations just couldn't couldn't get a dub, all right? This is an L for the Southern Woods, all right? Took taking the L today, but congratulations to Los Angeles, Vegas, and Long Island uh, for winning your respective matches. Long Island winning twice. If you like this simulation, hit me with that like button. Uh, if you want to see it run up again, you definitely have to hit that like button. Let me know that y'all want this, and you'll put in the comments saying, "I want another try." The sack needs redemption. All right, whatever you want to say, and subscribe if you want to see more of these. Join the Southern Woods community. Um, without further ado, y'all, Southern Woods out.